Um, the insult and the injury of the Tribeca film and website on November 27th prompted my poetic response that was viewed by 30,000 people in just two days. And I was advised um, that due to the delicate sensitivities of some councillors here this evening, that some of my stronger language should perhaps be tempered. Um, but the full uh, uncensored, unexpurgated version is available on Facebook and currently it's been seen 68,000 times. So with that... Can I offer you, what shall we give in return for so much? And you may recognize that title, for it is indeed the motto of our city. They stole our city while we were asleep via a corrupt banking crisis that flogged our debts to rich creeps. You see, the loan book was now theirs, and politics made us pay, and our children will too, as their birthright decays, but they'll spin it brand new to their vain dulcet beats with their video clips, all quiffs and quips with pints in the pub and muckers and grub, Jamie's baps, the fall, the markets and the old boys club, Belfast voices and other faces that fit, staring back from Willie Jack's pub. So what's the crack? Where's the rub? You see, they broker a Rye Royal Exchange for a fee and schmooze us all with blether, but never ask us what we'd like to see as they rip the last sinews of our city's heart away. But hey, it's not in vain. It's international, replacing even our name with a transatlantic filmic gimmick. So shoot, no shame. They sell Belfast so with a nudge and a wink. It's progress. It's shopping. It's gleaming. It stinks. Because their brand value lies about economic necessities exactly the reverse. It's just old-fashioned greed. We don't need more empty shops. We need visionaries. A 500-seater, a public park with public streets. Here, that would be a lark. Maybe a school, some houses, art. We shops and flats to help us survive, not office blocks built way too high to spoil the view and threaten the sky. It's got even darker before the dawn. We know who we are. But who represents us? It's always others, you see, as the political class hiding away, tweet, bleat and haggle and plead to get on Nolan on TV, hashtag global, hashtag look at me. And the signature building will interpret all of our days and a hologram costing more than three million quid can explore what the people who lived here once did. And the portly play trousered can return to their ships saying Belfast was really beautiful before they developed it to bits. Because the theft isn't cash or ash or muck, it's our heritage, our history, the sediment of our dreams and our own bad luck laid down with care and craft and pride at the fording point to the sandbank side, the mouth of the farset where the lagging and the blackstaff powered the wheel, where we mingled, reveled, rebelled and revealed, where we struggled for centuries in alluvial sleech, in the Venice of the North with its own urban beach, our ingenious forebears, hard and brave and staunch and true, we were traders, waiters, shipmen rights, navigators, we looked out to sea and vowed like McCabe in his four corners speech that no slave ships will trade in these Belfast streets. The Enlightenment. They tried Henry Joy for daring to set us all together free and hung him high for old school national security, just around the corner between the blighted bank buildings and Mackie D's. Ah, the Enlightenment. We could use some now in Belfast you and you, some realisation that this gleaming veneered corporate cack will not do. You can't just land in here and change our name. That's happened before. It won't happen again. It will not stand this thieving away. This city we made where we carried red clay from the fields and lands down, Shankill and Castle Ray, and built a community of families and place, not a speculator's paradise where they plot and erase. No shuck, no shame. In Anamnawaka, even our name. We know who we are. And the very essence of makes this town ours. Do they think that we came down in the last expletive-drenched shower? Do they think we don't know what's happening here as our blood, sweat and tears just disappear? Or will we just spectate until it's all gone and authenticity's lost and Belfast's become another assortment of glassy, bland, privatised streets where the rain-soaked ghosts shuffle and greet and gurn and understand another defeat? Or will we act with our feet and our hearts and our words and our arts and our minds and stop this theft in the nick of time and save this city not just for today before the bargain basement sky scrapes our Belfast soul away? casting longer shadows on our skin for our children, 
for our ancestors. Respect our struggles and our truth. We can restore. We must not lose. Me and you and you and you. We are not Tribeca. That name will not last. We are CQ, Cathedral Quarter, the historic heart of Belfast. Thank you. Thank you.